Hey, this is Raul Wolf for Bass Musician Magazine, and today we're going to have a closer look at something really interesting and for many of you bass players, a, a little controversial um, because this actually involves looking at a pick. Now, most of you have noticed when we're especially on our social media, Facebook, when you see a player who's playing with a pick, half of you are going, hey, get rid of the pick, you got to play with your fingers. And I personally like to play more with my fingers than anything else. But when we got this little group of these very interesting picks, I thought, well, you know, let's have a look at it because let's see what it does as far as being able to modify our sound or do something different with it. So what I'm looking at is actually a pick made out of glass. Now, I know most of you are used to the kind of traditional plastic ones, nylon ones. Um, they come in all kinds of materials and stuff like that. I've seen them in stone. I've seen them in metal. But this is actually the first time I've seen uh, picks made out of glass. Now, these picks are made by Rosemary Piero out of the island of Kauai, Hawaii. And borosilicate glass is something that you might go, what the heck is that? But you're probably more acquainted with it than you actually realize. It is the kind of glass that they make Pyrex out of in cooking wear because it can withstand heat. If you play with a guitarist, it's the glass that they make the slide uh, that guitarists use because, again, of its durability and its characteristics. It's the glass that's used on the shields that protect the space shuttle upon re-entry. So I mean it's a very versatile glass and it's basically different than common glass in that they add boron oxide into the glass makers traditional mix and they have to use extra high heat and uh, techniques. I believe it involves oxygen and uh, natural gas to get it hot enough to work with. But once you've done that you end up with a very durable and very beautiful a piece of glass. Now, among the characteristics, why this could be useful, especially in something like a base pick, because I know when you think of glass, you think, oh my gosh, I don't want something fragile. Once it's been uh, made, it's different than other glass in that it's pretty much unbreakable while you're playing. This won't shatter in your hand. It will break into pieces if you drop it on like a concrete floor or something like that. But as far as just breaking, it doesn't do that. Also, among the characteristics of this glass is that when you play with it, it can give you a kind of a warm, different sound than you'll get when you're playing with plastic picks. Uh, one of my concerns when I first got a hold of it was, isn't it going to be a little slippery? Because when I used to play with a pick, my hands got a little sweaty. But Rosemary's already come up with a very clever and ingenious way to get around that. She uses a graphite masher and actually puts kind of a waffle pattern. Uh, it's grooved and it's not rough rough, but it helps it stay in your hand and get you something that you can actually hold on and you can grip when you're playing. So uh, among the other things, maybe the only way that you could, you, you can't wear it out, you know, it's pretty durable, and maybe the only problem you could run into is you could lose it, but Rosemary's also been working on a, a design where you can wear it in a necklace around your neck, and that way You'll never be without your pick, as long as, I guess, you've got a neck to wear it on. So anyway, um, we're going to take a, a moment here, and we'll give you a closer look at these guys. Again, they are just beautiful when you look at each one of them. They're unique. I'm pretty sure not a single one will ever be like the other, just kind of the nature of uh, the art that goes into making these things. And in addition to that, um, we'll do a little sound sample so that you can kind of hear the comparison. Uh, I'm, I'm including some closer views so you can kind of see them, but by all means if you want to see more of this, make sure you go to rosemaryglass.com and look at what she's got. Um, my understanding is also, and 
I'll try to pinpoint this, but Rosemary had mentioned a possible discount, especially for you Bass Musician Magazine readers, and we'll include that discount code so that you can uh, get one for a little less and give it a try. So that said, let's get a closer listen to what these little guys can do. Okay, so let's give this a listen. Basically, I've got my trusty 1970-something uh, Fernandez here. Uh, the reason I'm playing this is because it has a pit guard. And so I thought, well, you know, this has got to be the perfect bass for this. Anyway, let's listen to kind of three possibilities. Let's see what it sounds like uh, without a pick at all. Okay, so now let's try a plastic pick. So one of the first things, of course, that I notice is you do hear the pick. Um, it makes it sound, in my opinion, kind of a little nasally. And it's just as the plastic and the strings interact, it's just got that kind of little twang to it. So let's switch over to one of a borosilicate uh, glass picks. does have a warmer, richer kind of sound to it. Uh, kind of in comparison, it kind of is in a position between my fingers and the plastic pick, but I do like the way it sounds. If we were to go a little slower with it, Plastic, just a sec. Back with glass. Okay. Well, this is a very interesting, different sound. If you are the kind of musician, you're a bass player that plays with a pick, it could be something to explore because this is one way that you can kind of alter your sound. And we all know that in a lot of our playing, the biggest thing that we're looking for is kind of finding our sound. I know, especially in an age when you have gizmos and gadgets and pedals and all kind of other things that can change your sound, something as simple as a pick uh, might seem a little too simple, but it actually might be a kind of a nice way to go without having to go really high tech. So make sure you check out Rosemary Piero's website at rosemaryglass.com and have a look at the pic she has. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm sure Rosemary will have a little discount code for us that we can add in. And make sure you tell her that you saw it here on Bass Musician Magazine.